Tibet, located in the southwest of Qinghai Tibet Plateau, covers an area of 1.2 million square kilometers, accounting for one eighth of the total territory of the People's Republic of China. Owing to its high altitude and thin air, Tibet is the most sparsely populated region in China, with less than 2.1 people per square kilometer. Lhasa is the seat of the Tibet Autonomous Region. The 1300-year-old Patala Palace on top of the Mapori Hill, the symbol of Tibet, stands as testimony to Tibet's past. Given its remoteness and unique geographical location, the outsiders knew little about Tibet. For centuries, Tibet was shrouded in mystery. The peaceful liberation of Tibet in 1951 is a milestone in its history. However, in the eight years from 1951 to 1959, Tibet remained under the feudal serfdom system and theocracy, with the power in the hands of upper-class lamas and aristocrats. Xidan的这个封建奴制度呢，是以封建领主啊土地所有制，呃，还有呃农奴啊对啊领主的人身依附关系啊为基础的这样一个社会制度。这个社会制度呢，跟中世纪的欧洲的庄园制度是一样的。Feudal serf owners and serfs were two opposing classes under the feudal serfdom in Tibet. The ruling class was composed of three groups of estate holders, feudal officials, aristocrats and upper-class lamas. They accounted for only 5% of Tibet's total population. Serfs fell into three main strata, Chaba, Duechong and Langshang the first two being serfs, and the last, slaves. Serfs constituted 95% of Tibet's population. Though the ruling class made up only 5% of the population, they controlled most of the arable land, pastures, forests, mountains, rivers, wetland, and most of the farming tools and livestock. The remaining 95% of the population, who were serfs and slaves, had neither land nor pastures. They themselves were property of serf owners. They had to work for serf owners and paid land rent to them. But such an unjust system was legal in Old Tibet. According to the old law, the serf owners had divine mandate to rule serfs who were destined to be exploited and total obedience was expected from them. It was stipulated in the Tibetan legal code, observed in Tibet for centuries, that Tibetans were divided into nine classes in three categories, according to family origin. Officials, aristocrats and upper-class lamas formed the ruling class, and the rest of the population were all serfs or slaves. Shangshi. 按黄金的计算
，那么呃，它的命价只有一根草绳。This is Jiangsu Pala Estate, 300 kilometers to the west of Lhasa. This old man is Jiaxi Wangdui, a Tibetan cameraman. In the 1950s, he was here to make a documentary about this estate. I do Pala Shigalo, long ye pare jago yundi. 帕拉王就是山上的家家路吧，经常的。膝盖给捏吧，两米，嗯，拍过群群的两米，看茶吧馆的叫的，看吧日日日过去的，我是老年把人过走的。膝盖的膝盖上是绝全部洗不多，别想那阿拉的三叶几个看吧几张下，阿拉呢？别的吃这个，为自己生意，人头马身呢，对不对？小茶都，俺三爷呢，家个吃这个，吃这，家这，开始等着咱们这个说啥个家这，哎呀，人家见到康巴刚讲下，俺们全国的吃啥呢？国际的、南部的，学嘛等着马菜了，八道几个。七八过去老人的，八大人就是那八八人，咱们这，这下呢一八，娃八，哎呀，差着，十八，哦，张八，但到八八开些，全人俺汤也没用么多，人家砸钱不舍不得是个多，我是哈哥们都干的明白，但到日日我的。干巴的，人家吃的，拿个扛把拿个最香。每年当冬我做，把这卡卡些叫不着。西瓜给零卡，竹扛，嗯，竹扛。每年啦，三不中三不西的，呃，大陆人呢，老种植的菌，人家是的。年轻的的呢，三不十块的可能，呃，这边也批三株破绽。啊，谈到伊呢，啊，上周那个红了的，三不第一的，还有我们家军在这个伊呢，嗯，看把东大机子也买的得要来啦，嗯，修筑的伊呢，刚刚这个个，剩下这个哪里呢？七十几岁是外头来的，拍戏了才写个伊呢，按照嗯，他那的，嗯，省里的，是个嗯，土子的来要的。这个等待了，当年今年的我这不才是个，呃，我就主要不打，男的男的有个人呢，家对的呢，呃，两个就等待，呃，对，俺提醒给，呃，俺做了，做了一年，做了这